Well, you two know what's going on. Check it out, you guys. Oh my goodness. Guess what we doing today? Can you guys guess? So, many, many years ago, when I was 23, uh, anyway, many years ago, we made a watermelon treat video. That video is a video that many of you have found us through. She's like, maybe I'll eat two. See, Shelby, they're it's good. Nice, nice, cool treat. You guys just gave me one. <laughs> Hurry, I'll share another one with you. Mmm. Mm. Look at my fingers. My fingers taste like watermelon, too. That video is about to hit 50 million views, which it may even have hit it right before this went up. But we thought it would be really fun to remake that video because, yes, Memphis was in it, but Eleanor and Kira have never had these watermelon treats. So we're gonna go ahead and make some frozen watermelon treats. This is a really good day for this as well because it's like 86 degrees outside. It is so hot. <laughs> These treats are great for those warm days and they're super simple. What you're gonna need, a watermelon, seedless watermelon preferred, otherwise you gotta pick the seeds out, some unsweetened coconut milk, make sure you get the unsweetened kind. If you don't wanna get coconut milk, you don't really have to put anything else in it. And then honey, and today we're using strawberry honey. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut this watermelon in half. And those of you that have seen that video before, look, I still have the original trays that I used to make those treats and we're totally gonna use them today. And as always you guys, I will put some Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below so you guys can get some of the things that we have in this video because I think these are actually still available. If not, I'll find some similar ones for you. You ready to do this? Memphis does not even realize you just cut that watermelon in half. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody was watching. She's like, whoa, there's watermelon? I know, well, you can have, but not right now, okay? <laughs> so we are going to need about two cups of watermelon puree. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop about two cups of that out of there. And of course the dogs are gonna get some, <laughs> of course. So let's get you a bite. Yeah. You know we've cut the watermelon and now they gotta try it. Oh, oh my goodness! Okay, Eleanor's like, oh, I got right that piece. Here. Don't get the right. Oh, it's uh, so messy. This is the take. You can't hide that piece. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Memphis here, you didn't get a good bite. Did you, did you like that? <laughs> okay, monkey. Okay, off, off, we off. have officially made a giant mess. That is, that's why the counter is nice and that. Uh, yep. Yeah. So now we're gonna take some of this watermelon, cut it off the rind, put it right into our blender. We need about two total cups of watermelon juice. Look at them, they're like, oh mm -hmm. my goodness. We would take all of that, please. Hey Kira, what you, what you got on your face there? <laughs> Looks like you got some watermelon juice on your face there, sweetheart. Just a little bit. They're like, but there's watermelon right in front of us and we would like all the watermelon, please. So before we add anything else, we're gonna go ahead and blend this to make sure that we have the two cups that we need. They're like, whoa. We might have got a little more than two cups. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. We'll see. So technically we need 16 ounces and we got about 25 ounces. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it because this is not an exact science. We're just making frozen watermelon treats. And honestly, if you wanted to just freeze it like that, you totally could. We're just going to spice it up a bit. <laughs> Memphis, your little nose. Does that smell mm -hmm. amazing? It's mm -hmm. just a watermelon. I just took the top off so we can pour in the coconut milk. The coconut milk. Mm -hmm. How many other people watch that same TikTok? <laughs> so, once you get your watermelon all nice and pureed into some watermelon juice, we're gonna add one cup of unsweetened coconut milk. We're gonna pour it. Here, I'll pour it. We're gonna pour it right into this hole. Kira's like, no, I'm gonna drink it all. We're gonna pour it in. It's in there. You wanna lick it? Mm -hmm. Everybody wanna lick this bowl? You got it? Yep. Memphis needs some. Memphis Do you like to like, try some of that? Mm, I would take some of that. <laughs> Eleanor's was like, I, that was That's great. pretty good stuff. It's like, whoa, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> so the last thing we're adding, again, is also optional. Usually we add a little bit of honey, about a quarter of a cup, a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. We're gonna add strawberry honey. And yes, I'm not kidding, it's actually strawberry honey. We're gonna go ahead and add some of this. Do you want some strawberry honey? Here, let me open it. That sounds like it's gonna taste amazing. <laughs> open it for me, thanks. All right, squeeze some in there. Kira's like, let me have the honey. Oh my gosh, it's all over your nose. I think, you, oh, that was the, that's the yeah. watermelon. Yeah, she's got watermelon all over her nose too. You wanna try some honey? Okay, how about I regulate what you can there get? There you go. 
There you go. She's like, hmm, that's pretty good. Look at Eleanor's like, I can almost, <laughs> she can almost reach her tongue all the way down. Almost. Is that good? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> did you give Eleanor some? I didn't. She's yeah. like, I don't need Eleanor any. Thing. I'm going to continuously yeah, right, try to get right some there. off of here. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Dad. Now I got to clean it. Yeah. <laughs> now that everything is in there and all together, we're going to mix it a little bit more. And now we have this beautiful reddish pink color. Now we're going to get the dogs down because otherwise this is just going to happen <laughs> the entire time. And we're going to pour this into our molds. So as for how long you keep these in the freezer until they're frozen, we're going to leave them in there pretty much overnight. And this is a great time to remind you that this is a treat, not a meal replacement. Please feed your dogs responsibly. Also, if you guys would like to see more of our treat videos, including more watermelon treat videos or the original watermelon treat video that we're recreating here today, <laughs> there will be some links down in the video description below. So camera magic, you guys are gonna get to see these finished pretty quick. But since you guys have to wait 24 hours, we're gonna let you have a little bit more watermelon. <laughs> Make that mess. She's like, that yeah, was pretty good piece. stuff. She's like, I can too. She's like, yes, I can. There you go. Thank you. Them are my fingers. You got some. Who's next? Ready, Kira? Oh, yes. Nice and juicy. You almost got that one, Eleanor. You'll get your own. This is Eleanor's piece. Eleanor's like, whoa, so messy, but so good. So now comes the time to make the biggest mess of them all. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour this into these. Try not to overfill these because as they freeze, they're gonna swell up a little bit, but we're gonna try to fill as many of these as possible. Of course, these two being the main ones. Just like magic, they're full. And if you're wondering why I put it on a cookie sheet, it's because it's easier to move in and out of the freezer. Now I'm gonna put them on the freezer until frozen. I would say minimum of six hours. Easiest to just leave them in overnight. Well, you two know what's going on. Check it out, you guys. And I tried to recreate what the original one looked like by putting it in the half watermelon bowl. Oh my goodness, is look it. Are you ready to try this? Are you, super, are you super excited? You ready to try it? All right, let's see what they think. Oh, are you excited? You ready? Do you even realize I have this? Can you sit? Yeah, all right. Got a little paw print for Memphis. You ready for this? Here you go, ma'am. You swallowed it. You didn't even chew it. Apparently it was delicious. All right, let's see what the other girls think. Whoa, you're excited. So you get a little paw print one as well. Sit. Good girl, can you jump? Right off the camera. Sit. Ready? It's cold. Oh, you chewed it. Is that delicious? It's like, oh my gosh, give me like 20 more of those. That's it. You get one, you can have another one in a little bit. Kira says that's a win. All right, we got another excited girl. Can you sit? Good girl. You ready for this? It's watermelon treat. Here you go. You chew it. She's like, whoa, what is this? It's like the ice cubes that you like, only it's made with the stuff we made. It's like, hmm, okay. Oh yeah, you figured it out now, huh? Dainty little chewer. Eleanor says it's a win. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. So all in all, I think that was a win. Again, if you guys want to see the original watermelon treat video or any of our other treat videos, there will be some links at the end of this video. And down in the video description below, it's a hot one today. I think the dogs might be swimming today. It's a little windy out here too, but it kind of makes it feel a little bit nicer. We also want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have helped us reach 50 million views on the first watermelon treat video. How many of you discovered us through that video? Let me know down in the comments below. The dogs are exploring. They're like, is there anything else on the ground? Is there anything else we can eat? And these two are crazy. All right, you guys, as always, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, potions. Ah, oh, the crazy puppers are being crazy.